Now let me let me take you let me take you home. Yeah. Uh, and by home I mean to the Niger Delta. Yes. Um, historically, there had been the battle for resource control, and some had linked it to the battle for true federalism, the control of resources, indigenous resources, and all of that. And as a matter of fact, I know for a fact that you joined the alliance, the then Alliance for Democracy, yes. precisely because of the issue of resource control. Yes, you're right. Um, and then subsequently, you moved. Yeah. when it became clear that that was not mm. going to be very high up on the list of priorities. But yes. the, point, the question I want to ask now is, where is that battle? Because we don't seem to be hearing so much about We're still hearing a lot about restructuring yes. and about uh, true federalism, but we're not hearing so much about the resource control battle anymore. Is that, is that a strategic change or is there something else that happens? Well, first of all, you are right, yes. Um, my entire political life, um, um, has been about how we can address the challenges of my people. And that's what we come to politics to do, um, to see what difference we can make to the material conditions of, of the various societies that we serve. Um, now, you're talking of re restructuring, and you know I'm one of those who keep uh, making the case and talking to friends across the country, because we need everybody on board. We need everybody to understand why this country uh, will be better for everybody else if it is more stable, if it is more egalitarian, if it is more equitable, and everybody is happy, and there's less suspicion, and less bickering, and therefore less tension, and therefore more stability, and therefore more development, and more prosperity. Um, and I talk to friends from across the aisle. So I'm, I'm someone who has a lot of friends, um, uh, across the political firmament. Uh, and by the way, there are still some decent people even in the other party. And, <laughs> and a few decent people are my friends. And I touch base with them. Um, so we're going to engage more. The, the notion of resource control is an element of restructuring. Yes. It, it deals with the issue of ownership of mineral resources. But it is part of the general issues we talk about when we say we want a restructured Nigerian federalism, Nigerian federation. Restructuring is much more than resource control. In restructuring, we are looking at um, what kind of judiciary do we need in Nigeria? Do we need a judiciary, for example, where in a land dispute in my village and your village, the matter gets to the Supreme Court of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as it is. Now, I think that is that's wrong. That's wrong. We are overburdening the, the judicial system. We haven't structured a judicial system that will serve our peculiar needs and our, the peculiar nature of the Nigerian state. Why should I have a land dispute in my small village and I expect it to get to the Supreme Court? In 10 years, 15 years, 20 years time. That's not what the Supreme Court of the Federal Republic of Nigeria should be doing. The Supreme Court of the Federation should be deciding on fundamental issues. Issues of rights of the citizens of the country. Issues of citizenship of Nigeria. Issues, treaty obligations, and so on. Disputes between states among themselves, states disputes between states and the federation, and probably an interpretative rule when there are political disputes, and so on and so forth. Not land disputes. These are things that state courts, regional courts, regional appeal courts, regional or state supreme courts can deal with on small chieftaincy matter land matter, you go to the Supreme Court of Nigeria. And the same reasoning applies to the law enforcement system, for example. Now you, you see governors, including governors who maybe thought that the issue of restructuring was an opposition slogan. And therefore, when you are on the other side, your party is, uh, is the ruling party, then you say, all is well. Now, a number of them are finding out, sadly, that all is not well. We can over-centralize control 
of the instruments of law and order in states of the federation. Now, there, there, is, there are some who say, well, we have to be careful if we have to uh, allow states to have uh, policing powers. And I can't dismiss those fears outright. Those fears may very well be founded because of the, um, let me put it this way, we can do with more maturity um, in governance. Um, we can, we need to show more tolerance and a capacity to uh, rise above certain things. And I think that some of those fears emanate from some of those uh, defects in, in the level of maturity of the political class. What you referred to earlier. Which I referred to earlier, the, the, the failures of politics and politicians. Uh, but that does not address the problems. A governor and the state assembly needs to have a say on law and order and maintenance of stability. But if you take that element away, then the governmental powers are incomplete. And you balance it with the federal control of the federal component of security, which is the strongest, which is the strongest, with powers to be deployed to anywhere in the country. So once there's a failure in any other security uh, level, for example, it doesn't endanger the Federation. So we can deploy federal troops, we can deploy federal armed police, we can deploy federal strike force, we can deploy federal, that's what goes on, the SSS and so on, which is like the FBI. But you can allow for local policing because the essential day-to-day -day policing is local. It's local. But we, that's why we need this exchange of ideas and engagement. I keep talking about engagement. We don't do enough of that. People go by preconceived notions and sentiments and even stereotypes in this country. And that's what guides their politics. So guide them. And it's very sad. But a number of us who believe that we need to engage across regional boundaries, engage across ethnic and religious boundaries, build friendships and networks, even beyond political boundaries, so that we can, um, do I say, develop a minimum, you know, um, uh, develop consensus. There are certain things we should be able to agree. And that if we do so, even between now and 2019, we can achieve restructuring. That's my view. And I've spoken to a number of um, my colleagues and other players, and I intend to do much more. Not just for resource control, but we'll look at all the issues involved in the debate about restructuring. And I think that Nigeria, um, Nigeria will be better off when we sit down and identify and address a number of those challenges. We don't need to do all of it at the same time, no.